Pascal triangle is frequently asked program in computer science exams and tests. So in this video, we are going to see what is Pascal uh, triangle and how to solve it using recursion method in Java. So here I have shown a Pascal triangle. Now the vertical sides to left and right are one here as you can see uh, let me get the pain here you'll see all are one this left side and this right side to understand this triangle i'll remove all the spaces and here in the front of every row in this region and let's see this now you can see each row begins with one and ends with one. Let me put a column and a row header to this diagram. So it will look like this. So this is zero based counting. So this is zeroth column here going down. And <clears throat> these rows number are zero based. So in zeroth column, all the values are one and in the end where the row number and the column number are same the value is one so here when the row number is same as that of column number so i get one each value in the middle is a sum of previous row and column so let me explain i'll it is here take any value in the middle so 3 is sum of previous rows previous column and previous rows current column so so here 3 is sum of these two values and so on so how to get this previous values so we will use recursion and get this previous values we will tell the recursive function to get or a recursive method to get the previous row and column number and get the values and so on let's go to the code here this loop runs seven times from zero to six this is for outer loop now this loop is only for printing space in front of each row and this is value printing statement which is running in the loop inner loop now i call every time the pascal method and i pass these two values x and y so x represents row number y represents column number let's understand the actual coding work this is the recursive function i name it pascal two values the row number and column number as shown here in the previous i'll tell what is my column number what is the row number and it returns the value so as you recall when the column number is zero that is column is first column the value must be one or when the column and row number are matching value must be one in all other situations it will go to previous rows previous column and it will go to previous rows current column and add these two values now here I add using Pascal. So I call Pascal again. So it goes on calling itself again to get the previous rows to values. And I get these numbers. I hope you have understood uh, this program. Like and subscribe my channel. Thank you a lot.